Hi there. When we talk about the best website builder for designers, one of the most attention-grabbing is Wix Studio. For those of you who don't know, Wix Studio is a website builder platform designed for anyone who wants to create a website quickly, efficiently, and professionally, especially when working on projects for clients. Wix Studio offers flexible design control, a more advanced layout system, and the ability to create beautiful and professional-looking animations and transition effects. All right, you can see, this is the website I created using Wix Studio for my client. So in this video, I will share my experience using Wix Studio in building a website while also giving a review based on real usage. Hopefully, what I show in this video can help you decide whether Wix Studio suits your needs, and whether this platform truly deserves to be called one of the best website builders for designers. Ready? Let's do this! Okay, one interesting thing here is how Wix offers three different approaches when we want to start a website. First, there's the blank canvas option, suitable for those of us who want complete freedom in designing from scratch, without any built-in layout limitations. Then, there's the option to use a template. In my opinion, this is a very efficient choice because there are so many designs that already look professional and ready to use, but still allow room for customization. It's perfect for those who want to build a website quickly but still want a final result that looks neat and well-structured. And lastly, Wix also offers automatic structure creation with the help of AI. We just need to enter some basic information, and Wix will help create the site framework automatically using AI. Alright, this is the main interface of the Wix Studio Editor. By default, we will immediately be given a basic page structure like this as a starting point. I think this is quite good, because it can help us save time when starting to build a website. Then, at the top of the editor, we'll see these device icons from desktop, tablet, to mobile view. These are used to preview and adjust how our website looks across different devices, ensuring the design remains clean and functional no matter where it's viewed. Here, we can also customize breakpoints. If we need a specific size, we can adjust and add breakpoints as needed. Then, in the top right corner, there's a preview button to see a preview of our work, and we can click here to return to the editor mode. We can also publish our site anytime and take it online by clicking this button. Additionally, if we look here, the autosave feature is enabled by default, so we don't have to worry about losing our progress. Next, on the left side, there's this sidebar menu. First, we have the add panel where we can add various components needed to build our website pages. There's also a sections category here, so if we don't feel like designing from scratch, we can choose from ready-made designs. There are already sections like Hero, About, Services, Projects, and more. Then there are many other categories such as Containers, Layout, Buttons, Menu, Search, Media. All of these components are fully customizable, allowing us to save time and boost our productivity. Next, we have the Layers menu, which makes it easy to manage all the layers across our entire website. After that, there's the Site Pages panel, where we can add new pages and manage all the existing ones on our website. Next is the Visual Sitemap, which helps us view the structure of our website pages in a clear, visual, and organized way. This is especially useful for team collaboration, as everyone can quickly understand the page structure without having to click through each one individually. And here is the Site Styles panel, where we can easily set global styles for the entire website, including colors, fonts, and text styles. Next, there's the Media section. And here, we can also use various free media provided directly by Wix, such as images, videos, icons, and others. So, all of these media can be used for free to enhance the appearance of our website. And, to make the search easier, we can also filter them by category. There are so many categories here that we can choose from. Then by orientation and color. Then at the top here, there is a search bar that we can use to search for images based on keywords. So, all of this really helps to save time and speed up our work. Then here, if we want to use paid images or videos, we can search for them through Shutterstock. Wix is already directly integrated with Shutterstock, so we can purchase and add the images directly from here. Then there is Unsplash, 
which also provides many free photos that we can use, we can search and add images directly from Unsplash without having to leave Wix Studio. Besides that, there is also the AI Image Creator feature, an advanced feature that allows us to create unique images using AI according to the description we provide here. If you are curious about this AI feature, we will try it later and see how the result turns out. Okay, then we have global sections, which are parts of the website that appear on multiple pages, like the header and footer. So we can manage those from here. Next is the app market, where we can find a variety of additional apps that can be easily integrated into our website. Then we have my business, where we'll find recommended business apps from Wix, specifically designed to support our business needs. All right, moving on, here's the CMS panel. This feature is for managing large amounts of content in a structured and dynamic way using a content management system. And finally, if we're developers or want to add advanced features to our website, Wix Studio also supports direct coding. Here, we can use the code feature to extend the website's functionality. Okay, that's an overview of the features available in Wix Studio. If you like the features we just went over and feel they're a good fit for your website needs, you can go ahead and click the link in the description to start exploring Wix Studio. Alright, so it's clearer how the experience of building a website directly looks like. Now I will try to choose one of the templates available in Wix Studio. Here there are so many template options that I think already look modern, professional, and flexible for various needs. For this video, I will try to choose one template from the wireframes category. Templates in this category are usually cleaner and more minimalist, very suitable for those of us who want to start from a basic structure but still have a solid design foundation. Okay, we can click view first to see the appearance of the template. I think the design already looks neat and structured with a layout that feels light and intuitive. Then the built-in animations are also already smooth and feel integrated with the overall design. And not just the desktop view, we can also check how it looks on tablets and mobile devices, so this really helps to ensure from the start whether the design is responsive and fits the needs of our project. If we're already sure, we can directly proceed to the customization stage without needing to start from scratch, so the website creation process can become much faster and more efficient. After choosing the template, now we've entered the Wix Studio Editor view again and we just need to adjust the content as needed. The panel on the right side of this editor functions to set the styling of any element we select. The appearance of this panel also looks simple and clean, making it easier for us to focus when doing styling. After that, up here, there's also a control to adjust the zoom level on the canvas. This is really useful if we want to see design details more closely, or instead see the overall page appearance more broadly. All right, now I will try to customize the contents here, and even though we are using a template, we're still free to customize anything however we like without any limitations. First I will replace the logo so I can delete this element, then go to media. And these are some images that we will use in the website, and I uploaded all these images through this button. Okay, now let's add this logo to the page. Then we can adjust its position and size very easily. And if we want a specific size, we can set it from here. Then I want its position to be aligned to the left and centered vertically. And you can see here, every time we select an element, a contextual toolbar like this will appear. The contents of this toolbar can vary depending on the type of element selected and provide quick access to various relevant settings or actions. Next, for the menu or these navbar links, it seems I don't need this resources link, so I can remove link and delete. And not only delete links, here we can also rename, duplicate, and so on. Then to change the direction or destination of the link, we can adjust it from here, and there are many available options according to what you want. Okay next, here what I find most interesting is that we can use AI to generate text automatically, we just need to fill in these fields as needed such as business type, business name, then choose the type of text to be created, and determine the topic. Okay, for example I fill it like this, after that just click create text, and we immediately get several text options, so just choose whichever one suits best and matches what we want. And if it doesn't feel right yet, we can also click create text again to get other options. And if we found a suitable text, 
We just need to click use text to use it right away. Okay, great. Now for paragraph text, the steps are more or less the same. And because several fields have already been auto-filled, I just need to change the topic to welcome. If there is important information we want to include, we can add it in this last field. But if there isn't, we can just click create text. Okay, and here is the result. Then, if we want to add important information for example like this, the AI will process it into a paragraph that explains those things more fluidly. And if we found a suitable text, we can click use text again. This makes the writing process much faster and more practical, so we don't need to be confused anymore about what text to add to the website. Then, as I mentioned earlier, now we will try out this AI image creator feature. So here, I just need to enter a prompt for the image we want to create, um, for example like this, and here I will try selecting fantasy style, and create image. Okay here is the result, looks good. But if we don't quite like the result of the image, we can create it again from here, until we really find the result we want. And if it fits, we can click use image. And here, Wix Studio also provides a built-in photo studio that allows us to edit images directly in the editor. We can adjust the image as needed in a practical and efficient way. Okay, if it feels sufficient, we can just click save. And now the image has been successfully created. Okay, I think this AI feature is really advanced and can help you when you want to create unique images for your website needs. So, instead of being curious, you can just try it yourself in Wix Studio. Alright, now I will try displaying that image on the website page. So, I can add a section here. And, let's add the image. We can also adjust the size and position freely and effortlessly as we want. And here, what's no less interesting, Wix Studio also provides another cool feature called animations and effects. Here there are several animation triggers we can choose for our website needs. For example, I will choose entrance. Then here provides many types of animations that are very beautiful and we can see the results directly on the website page. After that we can also adjust the type of animation we chose from here. Alright, then to add any element we can drag and drop practically. To change it we just need to click edit text, or double click from here. And of course, we can adjust it flexibly. Then for styling, we can do it in this panel quickly and efficiently. So basically, whatever properties you need to beautify an element, everything is available here clearly and practically. And instead of being curious, I think you need to try it directly in Wix Studio. And okay, it looks like I will delete this section again. Alright, for all other sections, it seems like I just need to adjust or change the content, because I think the overall template I chose is already good and suits my preferences. But if you want to know how to change it, I will show you an example, for this image element for instance, I just click change image, and update the image. Then for all other elements, it can also be done in the same way. Alright, here I have already changed all the elements, and you can see, now our website already looks much better and more attractive. And one more thing, to add or change animation on the elements of our website, the way is very simple, we just need to select the element we want to add animation to, for example this one, and go to animations and effects again. Um, the way is the same as before when we added animation to the image we made with AI. And here, actually animation has already been added by default from the template we use, but if you want to add another animation trigger, you can also do it from here without difficulty. And, if we don't really like the default animation from the template for example, we can change and adjust it, there are so many beautiful animations here that we can use to beautify the website page. If you don't want any animation at all we can also choose none. But here, I think I will still choose the default float animation from the template. And this is the place to adjust or control the type of animation we choose. So basically, you are free to play around here without having to bother with complicated settings to get the animation that fits your design vision. And to add or change animation on other elements, you can do it in the same way, adjusted to the needs of your website. Then, specifically for this plan image, here the position type is set to sticky, sticky to top, and offset 150 pixels.
This means, when the page is scrolled, this element will stick to the top of the screen, at the position of 150 pixels from the top only as long as the section is still visible on the screen. Then to see the result, we can click preview anytime we want from here. Okay, looks good. And finally, to make our website go online is also very simple, we just need to click the publish button here. And before our website is published, we will be asked to choose a domain. If you already have your own domain, you can choose this second option. But don't worry if you don't have your own domain yet, here Wix Studio provides a free domain that you can use for your website. You are also free to change the end part of this domain according to your business name. If it feels enough, we can click save and continue to proceed with the publishing process. Then click view site. And now, our website has been successfully published and can be accessed online. Alright, that was my experience using Wix Studio. With various powerful visual features and an efficient and intuitive workflow, I think Wix Studio deserves to be called one of the best website builders for designers or anyone who wants to create a website quickly and efficiently. But of course, there is no platform that is truly perfect. For beginners, the complete features and fairly complex appearance might feel a bit confusing at first. But after getting used to it, that's actually where the strength lies, because we can arrange the design much more freely and truly according to our vision. So, if you're interested to try it yourself, just go visit Wix Studio and see how this platform can help you create a website with a professional look and a design that you fully control. Hopefully this video can help you get an idea of whether Wix Studio is suitable for your project needs. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and see you in the next video.